I'm going to have uh, volunteers who are going to come up here, and we're going to do a, an experiment in front of you, and then we're going to answer a bunch of questions on it. So can everybody turn around for a second? Uh, just have a look at what we have here. So we have NaHCO3. Na is what atom? Sodium. Sodium. And then what's big H? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. What's C? Carbon. Carbon. What's O? Oxygen. Oxygen. So this molecule is kind of a big one. looks kind of fancy and everything. All right. So that's sodium bicarbonate is what you call that. Um, if you get this orange box, it has an arm and hammer on it. What is that? Baking, baking soda. soda. So this is baking soda. This one is CaCl2. So what's the Ca? Calcium. 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 What's the Cl? Chlorine. Chlorine. So this is calcium. What? Chloride. Chloride. Okay, good. And this is driveway heat. It's the stuff that you put on like driveways and walkways and stuff like that that gets the ice off. Got it? Okay. So these two chemicals. Then this one. You guys know what that is? Recognize it? Yeah. yeah. What is it? Do you remember when we had somebody blow into the blue yeah. stuff and it turned yellow? This is bromothyl blue, right? Okay. Then we're also going to use a graduate cylinder. We're going to be using 10 milliliters of stuff. Uh, we're also going to be using a Ziploc bag to do the experiment in so that you can actually feel what goes on inside the experiment. Okay. Everybody logged in? Awesome. Get logged in. All right. Can I move to the first question? <laughs> I know, I'm, move, I'm moving fast. But this is kind of on purpose so that we can do a little disc at the end. I know you guys want to. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? We should have some before you go, I understand. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay. It's okay. If, don't worry. You can always see the thing up there even though we go to a question. Okay, here goes the question. All right, so what does exothermic and endothermic mean? And how would exo and endothermic feel through a Ziploc bag and why? We are going to do this reaction and then we're going to feel it. And what do you think exothermic would feel like in the bag? And what would endothermic feel like? And if you can explain a little bit about why, that would be really cool too. But don't worry about making this really long. Do you guys remember when I had you guys feel the chair leg and it was really cold? Yeah. Why was it cold? Um, it was exo. It was really what was it doing? It was absorbing heat out of your hands, right? And that's why it felt cold? Uh huh. If it's absorbing the heat, what is it? Endothermic. Is this one right? Exothermic would feel hot because the heat's going through the bag. Endothermic would feel cold because it's taking the heat from your hands? Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Absolutely. It's all good. That was good. This one says exothermic heat escaping, endothermic heat being absorbed. Exothermic would feel hotter, endothermic would feel colder. However, hot and cold do not exist. It's just the fact that energy is being absorbed or escaping. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's Cole, thank you very much. That was a really good answer there. A few more seconds, you're going to move on. Ready? On three, everybody's going to say Shazam. And when we say Shazam, Shazam. like at, uh, when I say go, you're going to start mixing. Ready? Go. On three, one, two, three, Shazam. And nothing happened. So disappointed. So, why not? How come nothing happened? We are going to have a reaction with this, by the way, but we're not now. Why? Water, yeah. Because it, it doesn't have water moving the atoms. It doesn't have a solution where it's dissolved into it and it's moving the atoms close enough to each other to react. Thank you. Because right? No Thanks. Water. You're done for a second. Go, go answer that. All right.
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put uh, 10 milliliters of bromothymol blue inside the bag. But before, hang on, before we do that, we're going to make use of our brains and think ahead on what is going to occur. Ready? Here goes. Next question. Everybody ready? Yes. Okay, here goes. So, what are the four things that are going to happen in the bag after 10 milliliters of bromothymol blue are added? So your answer could just be a list of four things. And I'll leave this open as we get another volunteer who is going to do it, and I'll just leave it open for you to answer. Okay, are we ready? Amelia, come on up. So, Amelia's going to put uh, 10 milliliters of bromothymol blue inside the bag to give us a solution. And there's you some, uh, some goggles. All right, and I'll hold this. In the meantime, you can pour 10 milliliters in there. Good. All right, let's stand over here so everybody can see. Okay, and then we're going to put uh, 10 milliliters inside the bag. Here we go. Everybody ready? Did anybody notice anything right away? It's yellow. It's yellow. Turn yellow. It's fizzing. That's one thing out of four. It's fizzing. It's fizzing. If it's if it's fizzing, what does that mean? Something is being let off. A gas. A gas. A gas. Thank you. So yellow gas. What else? It's cold. Cold. Three. Did you feel any warmness also? There's little hot spots if you really feel yeah, the whole time. Okay. So there's hot, cold. There's uh, yellow and there's gas. We need to find out what caused all of them. We're going to do that. So the experiment part is coming up. This is the demonstration part. Thank you, Amelia, and we'll take your goggles here. So now, before we do any testing with the bag, we will move forward. Let's see what you guys wrote. So turns yellow, fizz and bubble, gas coming out, cold. So next one, before testing for causes of the four results, which chemicals probably cause the heat? Which chemicals probably cause the heat? Well, do you remember the chemical that I said you use as driveway heat? Yeah. What did I say? CaCl. CaCl, two, uh -huh. calcium chloride. And if it was going to just pour onto a surface, it would probably be wet, right? You guys ready? Next one, here we go. So the next one, uh, before testing for causes of the four results, which chemicals probably cause the cold? How many people have felt baking soda when you put water in it, on it? Does it? Have you noticed it feels cold? Yeah. That's it. You're right. All right. Before testing for the causes of the four results, which chemicals probably cause the gas? What is BTE? Bromothymol blue. By the way, I'm going to give you a hint right now. Bromothymol blue is obviously mixed with water. Oh, okay. What does that mean about one of those answers? Wait, I said that this is already mixed with water. Bromothymol blue and water. So it can't be which one? A. It cannot be A. Okay. All right. Way to go, guys. That is correct. It takes all three of them. All right, next one. Before testing for causes of the four results, which chemicals uh, probably cause the color change? Okay. Uh, it's it's already water. Bromothymol blue and water are already together. Did they change to yellow? No. I don't no. Think. <laughs> what should we do to find out what is what gas is in the bag? If I put a match to it. Um, if it if it was oxygen, what would it do? It would uh, keep burning. Right? It, would it would make brighter. it brighter, right? Yeah. It would burn better. And uh, if it was CO2, what would it, it do? It would put it out. It would put it out when? When it went below the limit. Why would it not go out above the above the back? Because the CO2 is heavier in there. Good. You are going to hold the back. Okay, you're left holding the back. All right, stand about right. Hold it right there. Thank you. Okay, ready? Ready? Everybody turn around. Turn around, look this way. Okay, so hold on to the top of the bag and open it when I say open. Ready? Set. 
and real slowly open it. Go. Thank you. Perfect. And it does go out once it goes down into the bag. What does that mean? It's got to be CO2. Right. Okay. So we know now that it's the CO2, but what we don't know is what made it yellow. I'll give you a hint. Do you guys remember that uh, the bromothymol blew and when we tested it in class and somebody blew bubbles into it? Cole did that, right? And, and the, we tested, like, it turned yellow. Why? Carbonic acid. It makes carbonic acid. So we're going to do another one of these in a bag. Yeah, just up to 10, 10 milliliters. And then put two small spoonfuls in there of that, and then one small. Like that? No, a little bigger. I mean, not even. Yeah. One. Two is good. All right. And then one of those. Beautiful. And then uh, 10 milliliters of water. Do you guys think it's going to work with just water? Go. Then you're going to feel the bag like we did before. Okay. So it's not turning yellow, but it is reacting. You're right, Troy. That's correct. And he, she says hot on one side and cold on the other. And we're also getting the gas. Now let's see if anybody got this. That is correct. 